second part starts 27 years later when Mike Hanlon, who was the only kid who stayed in town, summons them because the cycle has started again. Pennywise is back. So much of this film is about these adults are trying to put together the puzzle pieces of their childhood and remember what it was like to be a child, the magic, the power of that, the, the power of unified belief. It's a group faith. It's faith in that, that what you guys believed in as children, you can do it, you can accomplish those things because you're, you're invincible when you're a child. I believe that the faith of, of the group, the power of the unified belief, really kind of tied everyone together and, and that's what the movie is all about. Your hair is winter fire, January embers. I love this character so much, and I know that people love this character so much. I want to be respectful to that and give have the most amount of screen time for each of the characters. We all felt uh, a sense of responsibility to really nail that dynamic that the kids had. We're all honored that they're playing us and respecting our interpretations of the characters. All this, all this stuff that has to do with Eddie Kasprak and the book and my impression of it, all I had to do was just do the best Jack Dylan Grazer impression that I could, and that was it. It's so cool. It's so cool. And, you know, the fact that I get to have an amazing actor play me in this movie was so cool. It was so cool. As a kid, what you're scared of is what could be, what could be there, what could be behind the closet. And maybe as an adult, what you're scared of is this is how things are, and I can't do anything about it. I remember all of it. Pennywise. Knowing that this clown is still alive and still out there, and our part of our fear is still alive till this day, till we die. What is Pennywise? Where does he come from? What are these demons that these children, that these adults never really extinguished? And it's a very terrifying story. This kind of feels like a blockbuster horror, you know, like it's horror, but it's got all the bells and whistles of an adventure story. So yeah, it's kind of hybrid of all the coolest things in, in movie world. I was so surprised on a movie like this, which is a horror film, and it's a kind of an epic horror film. The second one is just bigger in scope, and it's just, yeah, it's the first movie uh, times 10, and, and as far as scope and scares, and uh, it just has grown in a way that's really cool. I really think that the fans will see um, that uh, the losers 27 years later are still losing. <laughs>